And speaking of fun, Carpenter Mark Jordan joins the party. Mark, this is Grace. Grace, this is Mark. Hi. Grace, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm going to get some materials because we're going to, I can see we're going to run out of stuff momentarily. So I'll be back in a minute. You guys take over. Thank okay? you. Here's the hammer, the golden hammer. Sweet. Those empty seams between the blocks need to be filled with cement. They wet down the wall so the porous cinder blocks won't suck up all the water in the mortar. Then they mix up a commercial grade blend of sand and cement designed for masonry projects. Just add water. All right, now what you're gonna do is just stick that thing down in there, mm -hmm. pull the trigger, and then just start moving it around like crazy. Ooh. All right, let's check it out. Hey, oh my god, look what I made. <laughs> All right. Next, Mark pulls out a pastry bag. Now you're going to fill this up. This is your frosting. Okay. And you stick it in here and you just kind of like, a mamma mia, go oh, okay. to town. These pastry bags are specially made for grout and cement work. If you found yours in the baking supplies aisle, you probably bought the wrong kind. And basically, what we're going to do is just, just fill up all these. Oh, that's nice. Like that. nice. Now, once we get it full, take the trowel and like kind of hold it like at a 45 degree angle and like just scrape off the extra. Like this? Yeah, like that. Just put okay. it against the wall. And... Yeah, exactly like that. That's, that's exactly right. You did it perfect. It is like a cake. <laughs> it is like a cake. All right. These bricks are going nowhere. They're going to be safely, snugly in here. To give it some friends. Grace perfects the art of the scrape. Very good. Hey, thanks. <laughs> And soon the cracks are filled. So the next step is we take this S tool. Okay. It's shaped like an S. Definitely, I can so see that. Very simply named. <laughs> and what this does is this makes a nice clean uh, joint line here. So you take your S tool mm -hmm. and just run it down like that. Oh, okay. And it makes that that line you see on all the block walls. Okay. So it's really simple like that. We got one for you and one for me. Thank you. This process is also known as tuck pointing. Creating a concave joint allows water to run off rather than collect and eventually crumble the cinder blocks. All right. It looks so pretty. It's gonna look like a brick wall. The next step is to fill the hollow cinder blocks with cement, but the tuck pointing has to dry first, so they call it a day. Ta-da! All right, Grace, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some cement. Uh, we rented a cement mixer from the local hardware store. It's gonna run you about 50 bucks a day, and that should be plenty enough time to mix up enough mortar to do the whole entire wall. We're gonna be dealing with a lot of cement dust, so safety up. So if you wanna grab the water. Okay. Just about a gallon, it doesn't have to be anything special. There you go, let's try that. Okay. okay. Contact. The best way to make large loads of cement is to eyeball it. Now, if you look at it now, it's like melted ice cream. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you mix in the chocolate syrup and then you have, you know, you turn into ice cream soup. Yeah. We want it more like chocolate pudding. Okay. So that means more cement. So what do you think? Is that like pudding? It needs more water. Exactly. Okay, going in. Grace adds a dash of H2O. There you go, and just let it, and let's see what that does to it. Okay. A final mix and pudding is served. Going in there. Is it? Yeah, it's getting in there. How much we got? Oh, we got about a half a bucket. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so just pour it? Just pour it, yeah. Okay. The idea is to fill the channels inside the blocks and essentially create a series of rebar enforced posts. All right. Oh, look, yeah, you can see where it is. Oh, yeah. It's Beautiful. like right here now. Okay. All we gotta do is just fill it up to here. So. Uh, about a million more of these and we'll be done. <laughs> Mark and Grace spend the rest of the day on the bucket brigade, mixing, pouring, and feeding. It is a hungry hole. Look at it, it just keeps eating and eating. Come on. Feed me. Look at that. Amazing. Excellent. Now we're cooking with gas. I love it. That's what my grandfather said. That is said. beautiful. All right, let's make some more. Stone. Wow. And installation is a snap. Use plenty of our old friend, cement. You're gonna need probably more than that. And just plop that down right in the middle of the wall right there like that. Get a little yeah, more, more. more, more, more. Place the capstone and follow the advice of a true craftsman. This is where I'm gonna remember my dear old grandfather because I saw him lay many a brick wall doing this. Okay. So what you do is we're gonna make sure we have a place. Uh -huh. And what you wanna do is take the bottom edge of your trowel. There you go, just like that, work your way down. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And that's it. Yeah. Put it into place. All 
the way down the line. I was a little intimidated by the amount of cement work that had to get done, but you know what? It was doable with all the assistance and the knowledge and the tools. I feel really good that I was able to do it myself. Mark and Grace use extra chunks of cinder block to sand down any cement droplets that might have dribbled onto the surface of the wall. And after a quick brush, our wall is finally ready for some color. It's looky looky what we have here. Count them. One, two airless sprayers. Talk about overkill. We're gonna have this wall painted in no time flat. The airless sprayer uses a hydraulic pump to force the paint through the tube and onto our wall. You wanna, as you go, and let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. I like like it. that. Ready? Give it a quick swipe and see how it feels. All right. You ready? <laughs> yeah. A little bit closer. There you go. Right by like that. It's all good. <laughs> As it should, masks on and hoses in hand, Mark and Grace divide and conquer. Malika is going to love the color that I chose because we love to sit outside and chit chat. You know, that's what girls do. And she is going to feel so warm and welcome in my backyard. She's going to actually really, really want to come outside of my house and hang out. It's going to be great. Grace, you are completely finished. Congratulations. You've got an entire yard full of tropical splendor. Nice work. It Thank looks great. you. Excellent. Go wait for Malika. Mark and I are going to spruce the rest of the yard. All right. All right. Thank good job. You. Looks like a resort here. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Don't forget the mulch. It helps keep the weeds out and the water in. Well, clearly a tremendous amount of work occurred here. Could not have done this without the help of our own Marky Mark Jordan. Marky! Good job. So not only did like Grace tackle loading all that cement into the wall, but she tackled it with like gusto and like she didn't give up and she was constantly working and constantly trying as hard as she could. So yeah. even at the end of the day, when we were both beat, she still had a smile on her face, and she still was wanting to do more. It's done. It's finished, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Ooh. Go ahead, hey, ladies. Okay, let's break it hey. down for uh, one last uh, time. Uh, uh, okay. And something happens oh, to me too. No, Eric, yeah. I'm gonna back it up. Ah, okay. 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 Okay.